whilst Carl's NK Dons may have half an eye on a promotion place, at the wrong end of League Two you'll find Northampton fighting tooth and nail to avoid the unthinkable, losing their league status. Well, Luton and Cambridge, on the other hand, are striving to replace them, as Jonathan Park reports. <laughs> Between them, they've amassed over 200 years of Football League experience, lasting memories for Northampton, Luton and Cambridge. But it's the here and now which matters, to stay or to play in the 92 club. We served our time. Promotion out of League 2 is, is an awful lot easier to achieve than promotion out of the Football Conference. After 46 games of the season, we managed to come second in the league. I think that should qualify you to be automatic at the moment. How precious is a place in the Football League? It's beyond. Good evening. Just when they thought it couldn't get any worse, Luton Town's been dealt another blow today. We've been let down. We've been let massively down. With 40 points deducted and three successive relegations, if any supporters deserve to celebrate, it's Luton fans. But events of 07 to 09 remain a painful chapter in the club's history. There's a, a certain degree um, of, of bad taste around what happened at that period. But, you know, um, for that to linger doesn't really help us as, as a football club to move on. Hi, John. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, very well. Yeah, good. Good. After four years of standing still in the conference, Luton landed John Still. He's on course for a third conference promotion with the Hatters. And just like Northampton, it's a good managerial fit. Barring disaster, Luton will win back their place in the Football League. The club's got enormous potential because it's got an enormous fan base, uh, fantastic history. The club has got, you know, unbelievable history, you know, Football League history. And, uh, you know, to, to try and, you know, be part of that history and see that possibly I've played a part in, in their history, uh, I feel a little bit of a spur for me, to be honest. These fans are regulars from Scandinavia. They've been coming here for years and feel it's the start of something special. When we first came over, back in the early 90s, we were in the old first division, the Premier League Premiership now, and um, we have followed the club all the way down to, uh, to the conference, and now hopefully back again. I like the outsiders, so I, I, I picked Luton in, uh, in 82 when all my friends had Man United and Liverpool and so on. The Football Conference will have mixed feelings about losing a team of Luton's size and stature, but what is clear is that as do go up, they're keen to make up for lost time. I think we do have something special. What can, what can we breed from that in, you know, going, getting promoted, promotion and promotion? It, it could also be something special. We've got to harness this now um, and develop that. And, and I do believe, you know, if you compare... Um, us with a number of other clubs that have been at this level in the past and are actually in the Premier League and the Championship and there's no bounds to what we can achieve. Luton's battle for promotion with Cambridge has been one of the stories of the season but with the Hatters nailed on for the automatic spot it leaves the U's fighting to go up via the playoffs. Only two go up. If you look at the, the other end of League 2 I think three go up automatically and there's a playoff position. But I think at the very least it should be throughout three down. And I think at the very least if after 46 games of a season you manage to come second in the league, I think that should qualify you to be automatically promoted. With one trip to Wembley booked in the FA Trophy, Cambridge probably need another one to follow Luton on the way up. It's as big now as uh, when we were fighting among the big ones um, in the 80s and 90s. No disrespect, I don't want to work a league down. Staying up would feel like victory for Northampton. Anything but going up would feel like defeat for Luton and Cambridge. We'll know over the next two months if it's job done.